So hello, I'm Karen and this is my presentation for the male trinatalia examination. So I already have here a patient who's ready for the examination with only the genital parts exposed. So we have here the male trinatalia. So on inspection, I have to look at the ventral, the dorsal surfaces, and also the base of the penis. Okay, so the pubic hair is well distributed and no pubic lies. The skin appears to be free of um, lesions, signs of inflammation, excoriation, or scars. And then this is an already circumcised penis, so the glands is already exposed. So the glands do not have any um, lesion or ulcerations. Then checking for the urethral meatus, which is found at the tip of the glands. Okay, so the urethral meatus is free of discharge. Then as I've said, this is a circumcised penis, no need to retract the foreskin back to its normal position. I'll proceed to the inspection of the scrotum. So for this one, you need to lift the penis to see the scrotum and its posterior surface. So as you, as you can see, there's no lesion and that, um, what can I say, for the scrotal contour, so there's no uh, lumps, no abnormal bulge, no swelling, no veins. Um, then for the inguinal and femoral areas, looking at the these areas, I don't see any signs of erythema, expirations, no um, visible adenopathy, which um, the first that I've mentioned can be linked to fungal infection. So please try to strain down. Okay, so no bulging with or without um, straining for these areas. Then I'll proceed now to palpation. So still we have here the shaft of the penis. So on palpation, I'll begin with the uh, with the base using my thumb and my first two fingers. Do you feel pain? Is this painful? No. Okay. So no injuration nor tenderness felt on palpation. Next, I'm going to proceed to the palpation of the testis. So I have here a thicker one. <laughs> okay. So still, I'm going to use my Finger, uh, first two fingers and my thumb on the palpation of each test this beginning with the right one okay okay so do you feel pain no okay for the other side also do you feel any pain no okay so on palpation the test is smooth they're off white so obviously they are descended and they are symmetrical so um they are also non-tender and no palpable mass was so I'm going to proceed to the palpation of the epiglutinus. So, sorry. So I have here still the scrotum. So I'm going to keep palpating here. So the epididymis feels modular and cord-like. Do you feel any pain? Okay, so it's non-tender. Then moving up, tracing it to palpate the spermatic cord and including the vast difference using the same technique. Okay, so the vast difference actually feels uh, a little stiff and kind of um, tubular. Okay, now I'm going to proceed to checking for or palpation of the inguinal area. So still using this model, I'm going to use my right hand for the right side of the patient. Okay, so I'm going to start palpation. So visually, um, I have here the index finger and I'll try to invaginate some of the loose skin of the, um, the scrotum or the scrotal skin then following the spermatic cord here up to the external inguinal ring we, um, we know that it's um, the external inguinal ring because it is a triangular slit-like um, opening so we can still push further or above it up to the inguinal canal so kindly please um, Cough or oh, you can do the strain down. Please strain down. Okay, so I was not able to palpate any bulging mass that moves down to meet my, uh, the tip of my index finger. So overall, your genitalia is in good condition, and that I don't see any findings that can point to any uh serious condition. Do you have any questions, um, clarifications or concerns? If not, then thank you so much for, um, your cooperation and for this. Yeah, thank you so much for your cooperation. And by the way, this um, procedure is done with eight gloves on your hands. Thank you.